Generally, I have no interest in these all-in-one USB mic kits, as they are almost all universally junk. But the Pseudotac ST800 is a popular USB condenser microphone that has garnered positive reviews from many content creators all over YouTube. Pseudotac reached out to me to test this mic, and as someone who was curious about the hype surrounding the microphone, I decided to see for myself if it lives up to its reputation. Upon unboxing the ST800, we're looking at a pretty common design. The microphone is lightweight and easy to handle, which makes it a great option for an easy no-fuss setup. It comes with an adjustable stand that can easily be attached to a desk or table. Also, if you look very closely, you'll see that this kit also includes a pop filter. But, of course, the most critical factor in a microphone is the sound quality it produces. As far as what it sounds like, you're listening to it now, and you've been listening to it this entire review. I think it sounds okay. The audio is unfiltered and unprocessed, so what you hear is what you get, unless otherwise specified. Upon further testing and consideration, there is one minor issue that I have encountered with the Pseudotac ST800. While its sound quality is pretty good, it is somewhat sensitive to plosives. The included pop filter helps to mitigate these pops, but as you can see, it's a behemoth. And if I were going to use this mic full time, I would invest in a third party pop filter like this one instead. Here is my normal round of audio tests when I do a mic test, starting with a plosive test, with the pop filter, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, without the pop filter, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, and without the wind muff. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I've been speaking into this microphone at about six inches away. Now I'm going to move back and do some distance tests. This is what the Pseudotac ST800 sounds like at about two feet away. This is what the Pseudotac ST800 sounds like at about four feet away. This is what the Pseudotac ST800 sounds like at about eight feet away. This is what it sounds like as I talk and type with the keyboard directly underneath the microphone about 12 inches below. Here is a handling noise test. And here is a noise test with my extremely loud wind machines fan. As I wrap up here with my final thoughts on this mic, you're now listening to the mic with my normal array of filters applied in OBS and with the better third-party pop filter installed. After using the Pseudotac ST800 for a little while, I can confidently say that the hype surrounding this microphone is pretty well deserved. It's an excellent consumer grade mic for the money. It's compact design, ease of use, and decent sound quality make it a great option for content creators, beginner podcasters, and gamers on a budget. The adjustable stand is also a useful feature that allows users to find the perfect position for their microphone during recordings. However, I do need to point out that my desk has sort of rounded edges and the clamp wants to slide off as it doesn't get the bite that it needs. That's more of a problem with my desk shape than the clamp's design, but if your desk is rounded like mine, it's something you should know about. But overall, if you're in the market for an affordable USB condenser microphone kit that delivers pretty good sound quality, the Pseudotac ST800 is definitely worth considering. It's a great option for content creators who are just starting out and want to invest in equipment that will help them up their audio game. But you heard the sound samples and I'm going to leave it up to you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.